Hello, it's Philip Taylor from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm looking at Graham Smith's new edition of Internet Law and Regulation. This is a picture of it here. It's a, quite a heavy book. Published by Thompson, uh, Sweet and Maxwell. I've given it the internet title for the reviews which are in journals and on the internet of um, Groundbreaking Connections to Internet Law. It's a much needed book and the time when the internet is taking much more of a lead role in what we do with our lives. The new edition is in my view an excellent work and it's to be welcomed for its clear and authoritative explanation of the law governing the internet both here in the United Kingdom and increasingly our global markets and international law perspectives. Um, Smith reflects on the multi-border nature of the internet problem and he tries, in my view, his best to handle a comparative approach to the knotty principle of multi-jurisdiction uh, disputes and legal niceties. I met up with him at his London offices at Bird and Bird and began asking him why he'd written the book. With um, a certain amount of disarming charm, he said that the book had started as a short work of several hundred pages uh, some ten years ago, but had grown to become a key element in the collaboration between uh, the firm of Bird and Bird, whom he works for, and of course Sweet and Maxwell, who originally commissioned the title. And it was on the off chance that it would one day be a, a popular title for the busy legal professional and of course that's exactly what it's become. It's now essentially a new book. It's, it's a lot bigger than it used to be. It's now a new book uh, on electronic law where Graham Smith's sheer breadth, uh, breadth of experience has placed him in my view at the forefront of a work which is clearly needed today. It's not always been so, as uh, Smith declared when he recited at the launch of this edition an anecdote from a client in Wales who queried what relevance this book had for their business. In brutal Welsh, the client said the answer was none. But that was until the client then had a problem involving new technology. So you see how things move on. And that's really why Sweet and Maxwell realised the need for the book in the 1990s and commissioned the latest edition in 2007 to cover such a wide range of, of issues. Um, basically, they are what I'd call new issue cases as well. I've always um, felt that it's a good job that the old statute of Inconsider like Casu in a like case isn't uh, any longer available active or binding because the law really would be in a pickle if new types of action couldn't be heard before the courts because that's where we're moving into with this and all sorts of other issues like reputation and the law and so forth. So much of this work looks at emerging issues and jurisdictional problems created by the global communication device that we now have, which is of such, such complexity and scope um, that obviously we're going to have a lot to think about in the next few years. The book covers a very wide area of um, issues and I've listed them in the written review. The first chapter I found intriguing, however, because Graham Smith explains what the internet is and how it relates to legal matters and the matters which affect our clients and of course our own lives. There's a great simple but technical glossary which is also very useful and there's a chapter on contract law and a chapter on defamation which are directly applicable of course to the common law and the sort of practice like the one I have and the book retains what it originally set out to do, which is a hands-on approach, um, and I think it's um, handled very deftly. What um, Smith does, of course, is he gives a comparative approach to themes that have arisen in m multiple jurisdictions, and I think he does that very well. There's a certain charm and relevance which runs through the whole of the book, because we're dealing here with what has become a global legal system in its own little way. 
and as we can see there will be massive changes uh, certainly in the 21st century. As I say the, the book covers a whole range of things and one of the questions I had was what's the going rate for a citation this, these days because the aim of the book is to give all the crucial cases and decisions which have been featured recently and there have been quite a lot, there's been a lot of judicial activity and obviously what Smith and his team have tried to do is to give uh, an insight into the reaction of the courts to the uncertainties created by the new technology. So as Smith himself said, what's the going rate for a citation? Well, it'll be one that he and his team of contributors at Bird and Bird and elsewhere feel we need and in fact he's best placed of course to do that. Um, there's particular relevance in the book, of course, to coverage of key areas such as contracts between ISPs, uh, content owners and others, communication, broadcast, casting, regulation, data protection and so on. And it's, as we all know, an evolving area of law which can't be ignored. Described as the definitive English law textbook on e-commerce when it first appeared, um, Smith and his colleagues have enhanced its original modest work, quite thin volume I referred to at the beginning, into an ultimate and essential guide for the internet lawyer of today, ensuring that clients, lawyers, laymen, they're all going to be aware of the new legislation and, and decisions which will affect us not just with our own businesses and activities, but they're our lives as a whole, our reputations, our persona, our image, all of these things will come very much into the fore, but not just on home turf. We're talking here about the emerging global marketplace, which will settle down with the uh, current economic downturn. And of course, we've got also socially interactive clubs. That is what is, in essence, the modern internet. If, like you um, and me, and all the other people, if you've got an interest in the internet, do read this book because it gives you an idea and a flavour for what we're going to be looking for as this century unfolds. Thank you very much.